Here we want to find the inverse Laplace transform of big F of S, which will give us the function F of T. So beginning with the given function big F of S equals six divided by S to the fourth, we'll now take the inverse Laplace transform of both sides of the equation to find F of T. So the inverse Laplace transform of big F of S equals the inverse Laplace transform of six divided by S to the fourth. Now looking at our table of Laplace transforms, notice how we're given big F of S and we're trying to find F of T, which means we'll be using this table in this direction here. So notice how the inverse Laplace transform of big F of S is equal to F of T. So on the left side we do have F of T, and now we need to work on determining the inverse Laplace transform of six divided by S to the fourth. So looking at the column for big F of S, we want to determine which form fits six divided by S to the fourth. Well, because our denominator is S to the fourth, we'll be using this row here to determine F of T. Focusing on the denominator, notice how we have S to the fourth, which should be S raised to the power of three plus one, which means N is equal to three, which means you must have three factorial in our numerator and let's just say we don't recognize that six is equal to three factorial. We could rewrite this right side as six times the inverse Laplace transform of one divided by, let's write s to the fourth as s to the power of three plus one. In this form again, we know we need three factorial in the numerator, so what we could do is rewrite one as three factorial divided by three factorial. Let's go ahead and do that. Three factorial divided by three factorial and then we'll factor out one over three factorial so it fits this form perfectly. So we'd have f of t is equal to six divided by three factorial times the inverse Laplace transform of three factorial divided by s raised to the power of three plus one. So again, now this fits the form perfectly and because n is equal to three, this inverse Laplace transform is equal to t to the third. So we have f of t equals, again, three factorial is three times two times one, which is six. So we have six divided by six, which equals one. So f of t is just t to the third. Again, we did do some extra work here because six divided by s to the fourth fit this form perfectly, but many times it won't. So let's take a look at one more example. Here we're given big F of s equals eight divided by s cubed. We want to use inverse Laplace transforms to find f of t. So again, we're given the function big F of S equals eight divided by S to the third. So to find F of T, we'll take the inverse Laplace transform of both sides. So the inverse Laplace transform of big F of S equals the inverse Laplace transform of eight divided by S to the third. And once again, we are going to use this row, the table, to find F of T, we're on the left, the inverse Laplace transform of big F of S is F of T. And now on the right side, because we have S to the third, we'd have S raised to the power of two plus one, so N equals two, which means the numerator must be two factorial. Notice right now we have an eight, so let's rewrite the right side as eight times the inverse Laplace transform of one divided by S raised to the power of two plus one. And again, because we need a two factorial in the numerator, let's write one as two factorial divided by two factorial. I know we could have written eight as four times two factorial, but this method always works regardless of what the numerator might be. And now we'll factor out one over two factorial, which will leave us with a two factorial in the numerator. So f of t is equal to eight divided by two factorial times the inverse Laplace transform of two factorial divided by s raised to the power of two plus one. Again, now this fits the form perfectly, where n equals two, so the inverse Laplace transform is just t squared. So we have f of t equals two factorial is equal to two times one or two, eight divided by two is equal to four, so f of t equals four t squared. I hope you found these two examples helpful.